Throughout the level 1 training videos, I introduced you to a bunch of shortcut keys to help you navigate around your windows a little bit easier. Well, I want to bring them all together here under one training video and go over the top shortcut keys, the ones that I think are most helpful, beginning first with the Alt Tab keys. When you hold down the Alt key and you tap the Tab key, it'll toggle between two or more open windows or programs. For example, if I double click and open up the Exercises folder, and let me open up a few more windows here like Castle, double click, come over here, let's open up the uh, spreadsheet, double click. I now have three open windows. There's the exercises, the image, and then the spreadsheet. So if I want to go ahead and toggle back and forth between all these, using the shortcut keys, Alt Tab, just hold down the Alt key and tap the Tab key once and let go of it, but still hold down the Alt key. And what it does is it brings up a little window here and it shows all the open programs or windows that you have open. And remember, we have three of them here. What's the fourth one? Well, the fourth one is the desktop. If you tab over, still holding down the Alt key, and you tab and you come over the desktop, it'll make all the open windows become transparent so you can see through to the desktop. Now, if I go ahead and let go of the Alt key, it'll take all these open windows and minimize them down to the taskbar so I can actually just focus on the desktop. Of course, to restore those minimized windows, come down here and click on their corresponding buttons to restore them. And then I can go back to Alt, holding down the Alt key, and then tapping the Tab key once to bring up that uh, little window again. So when I have the selection over the image, and behind it is the folder, it becomes transparent until I go to the folder, then the image becomes transparent. So you're just focusing on one of these images here when you select it by tabbing to it and still holding down the Alt key. Now if I come over here with my mouse and I interrupt the flow here, and I hover over the image, then the folder becomes transparent, which is right there. Whoops see it becomes transparent or over the uh, Excel and everything else becomes transparent or the folder and the image becomes transparent or the desktop and you can use your mouse or you can just move your mouse out of the way and just whatever you tab to everything else will become transparent and then if you let go it restores everything but because I let go on the image here it brings the image up to the front and on top of all the other windows now having said that you know that I have three windows that are open and if I want to be able to toggle back and forth really fast between two windows, when it comes to the Alt Tab key, it remembers the last two places that you've been or the last two windows that you've toggled back and forth between. In other words, if I go Alt Tab and I go Alt Tab, and I'm doing this really quickly, it's toggling back and forth just between the Castle or the Image window and the Excel workbook. Remember, I still have another window open, and that's the Exercises folder down there. So what I want to do is I want to hold down the Alt key, Tab, and then tab until I get to the folder and then let go and now I have the folder on top so if I alt tab and alt tab and alt tab now it's tabbing quickly between the uh, folder and the image and it's not including the uh, workbook now why is that helpful well for example if I'm looking at the image and I'm describing this in a word document or in my Excel workbook I want to be able to alt tab back and forth really quickly between the two or if I'm doing a presentation so I have the image up right hold down the Alt key and let me go ahead and tab to the workbook and let go. So when I Alt tab the image, Alt tab the workbook, let me go ahead and type in some information about the image. Alt tab, well what's in the image? Let's see, green, Alt tab, go ahead and come in here and type in the word green. Alt tab, it's a castle with an orange top. Alt tab, type in the text anyways you get the idea. Now holding down the Alt key and hitting the tab key gives you the uh, 2D effect, this little window, the thumbnail preview. Let me go ahead and let go of the Alt key. If you hold down the Windows key, it's a key that looks like, well, the little logo here on your keyboard, hold it down and push down the Tab key once, but still hold down the Windows key, it gives you the 3D view. Not the 2D view, but the thumbnail view in 3D of each of the applications or windows that you have open, like the image, the spreadsheet, and then you can go ahead with the Windows key still being held down, hit the Tab key or tap it once, and it scrolls forward and it moves what's in front behind, so whatever's on top, if I let go of the Windows key now, that will be displayed up in front. So I can tap, tap, or hit the Tab key still holding down the Windows key. If I let go of this, this is the desktop. All the other windows opened here will be minimized down to the taskbar, so I can just see the desktop. Let me go ahead and Windows tab to the image and let go of the window. And then this is the window that's on top because that was the one when I was Windows tabbing that was in the first or at the beginning of the line or the 3D view here of all the other windows that were opened. 
And then if you need to make copies of windows, in other words, take a snapshot or a picture of it, maybe this window because you want to be able to send it to a friend or that window for training purposes. As we learned in the snipping tool training video, you can use that program that's available in Windows 7, or you can use the print screen key on the keyboard. Find the print screen on the keyboard, tap it once, and it automatically takes a snapshot or a picture of your whole screen here. And to be able to see it, you just have to open up a word processing program or some image program where you can paste that photo therein. So if I come down here, click on the Start button, come up, click on WordPad, I can go ahead and right click and left click on Paste, and it pastes my whole screen. It pastes the uh, picture or my first monitor because I have two monitors. This is monitor one and this is monitor two. A monitor one, I've got my image of the castle, the spreadsheet, and so on. So let me go ahead and select it and delete it and then click on the minimize button so I can leave that program open because the next thing I want to show you is instead of making a print or taking a snapshot of the whole screen here or both of my monitors if I just want it of an active window like the image here then holding down the alt key before you tap the print screen will just do an active window so alt print screen then let me come down here and click on the document to maximize it, restore the program, and then right click, go down to paste, and let me scroll up, and there we go. It didn't take a snapshot or a picture of both monitors, or if you just have one monitor, your single monitor, it just took a picture of the active window, or the window that you have selected here, which was my image. Pretty cool. Then I can go ahead and save this, or print it off, or email it to somebody. Now I have a lot of windows or programs that are opened, the exercises folder, the image, and so on. You can see the corresponding buttons down here on my taskbar. As you recall, in an earlier training video, if I want to go ahead and see my desktop, I can do it one of a couple of ways. I can either come over here, hover over that vertical rectangle, and it does a peek. It makes everything become transparent so I can see through, like Superman. I can see through them to my desktop. Or I can go ahead and click on that vertical rectangle, and it minimizes everything down to my taskbar. Well, a shortcut key for this, if you don't want to use this vertical rectangle here, or find a blank area somewhere in your taskbar and right click, because that also gives you the option to show the desktop. Let me click off in a blank area. All you have to do is hold down the Windows key and tap the D for desktop, and there's the shortcut key to automatically take all the open windows and programs and push them down to the taskbar. And if I want to restore them, then I can go ahead and hold down the Windows key and hit the letter D and it restores all of them. That is, if I didn't do something else. So Windows D minimizes them. If I go ahead and open up one and I do Windows D again, the most recent thing that I did when it comes to opening up a program or folder or window was the exercises. So now the Windows D will just focus on that one window and not all the rest that I minimized earlier on. And then finally, the shortcut key when it comes to leaving your computer, you want to lock it instead of coming down here, clicking on the start button and going over and hovering over that little arrow to be able to lock your computer. Let me click off in a blank area because remember, you can leave all these uh, programs open and lock your computer so nobody else can have access to it unless, of course, they have the password, which hopefully they don't. But that way you can go ahead and do your thing, then come back and just type in your password and your programs are still open so you can still work on them. So the shortcut key to uh, lock your screen here or lock your work session is holding down the Windows key and tapping the letter L. I won't do that, but Windows L and it will lock your computer and still leave your work session open here. And again, if you want to be able to find a listing of all the shortcuts available in Windows 7, come down here, click on the Start button, go to your Help and Support Center, click on that, and then come up here where it says Search Help and type in keyboard shortcuts. Hit enter. There's the keyboard shortcuts. Click on that. Let me double click up here in the title bar to maximize the window. Come up here, click on general keyboard shortcuts and go ahead and have fun with that. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for all my training, please visit me at my website, dreamforce.us.